you find yourself in everything. And not necessarily in a physical form, you have to be with all these different people or you don't even have to like him. But you recognize they're your own self. And there is no other one. There's only one. And that one is yourself. And you become free. When you recognize that, you may want to share it with other people or you may not care to share it with anyone. You just may just dive into it because there is no one to share it with. Or maybe it's in your destiny to go out there and share it with other people. It doesn't matter. You will see what your destiny dictates to you at that time. but you become free. And that should be the ultimate goal in your life to become free out of this prison, to free yourself. That should be your priority. Everything else in the world should be secondary. Number one goal should be freedom, to free yourself. Freedom from suffering by discovering the truth of who you are. Who are you? And then if you're concerned about this planet, you're concerned about this world, then by discovering the truth of who you are and living it, that vibration that is created in you will transform the people around you, will transform your surrounding. Excuse us for a second. The, uh, you may wanna come go around instead of reaching out. Our Instagram went out. Yeah, thank you, Amir. Okay, uh, anybody has any questions? Uh, I don't know if our chat box is open or not. Not yet. So we're going to open it up. And you're welcome to either wave at me or we're going to turn the chat box on and then you can write to me and I'll be more than happy to answer your question. Uh, there's a gentleman named Hassan Tusi on uh, Facebook. I saw you, Hassan. Uh, I just remember you wrote to me. You sent me an email and I didn't respond back to you. I'm sorry. I... I forgot. So, but if you do watch the videos, uh, previous videos, the question you ask me is answered in one of my videos. The six sessions we had, this is the sixth session, Hassan. So go through them and watch the ones you haven't watched and your question is answered there. But thank you very much. You're welcome to write back to me again. If you do, uh, this time I promise I write back to you. But I just realized I forgot answering you back. Everything you're looking for, my brothers and sisters, I'm telling you the truth. And it's coming from the sincerity of my heart. Everything that you're looking for is already 
inside yourself. I'm going to say that again. Everything in this world that you're looking for, you can only find it inside yourself because it's already there. Trust on that one. You're already having it. All these other things we're doing, all of this stuff is to send you inward to help you find it within yourself. And that's your wealth. That's your riches. That's wealth. You're wealthy because you have it within yourself. All we have to do is turn the attention inwards and look inside. And you discover the truth of who you are. You discover your divinity. You discover how beautiful you are, how powerful you are. What a majestic being you actually are. Because God is inside you and it's vibrating and it's shining brightly. We just don't look inside. We're trained, brainwashed and conditioned to look for it outside. Oh, it's in some athlete, some football player. He has it, you don't have it. It's in a movie star. She has it, you don't have it. It's in a gymnast. Or it's in a spiritual teacher. The spiritual teacher has it and you don't have it. That's not true. It's in you. You're the one who has all the answers. You're the one who has all the wealth. Everything you're looking for is inside yourself. Just bring your attention inwards. Bring your attention inwards. Turn it inside. Look for that place inside you which is not changing and keep your attention on it. Keep your focus on that place. Just stay there. Be patient. Don't look for immediate gratification. Don't look for an experience. Don't look that, oh, if I do this, all of a sudden I'm going to have an encounter with Jesus Christ. Or I'm going to be in the middle of space with Krishna and Buddha. Don't look for those things. Don't look for an experience, an instant gratification. Or if I do this, oh, Zarathustra, I've been doing this, but I don't see anything. Well, what do you mean? Well, my friend did it, and he found herself in a Indian Native American camp, and she found herself to be a shaman and blah, blah, blah. Okay, fine. That was your friend's experience. But we're not looking for an experience because experience comes and goes. We're looking for freedom. 